I've been using Notion and Medium for a year now. I was wondering how the hell we create such kind of writing tools on our own. I mean, they both provide such a good user experience to writers to write these stories. Not only Notion. If you look at the, any other writing tools such as Gitbook and Coda.io, they both provide an easy to write editors and tools. So I was wondering how the hell we can develop such kind of tools on our own. I found two ways of doing it. Number one is developing the custom tools on our own from the scratch. And number two is to develop these tools using some third party tools. Developing custom tools on your own from the scratch can be a bit tough. So I removed this idea. So I thought of using some third party packages to help me developing such kind of editors. I googled out the way and that's where I found this third party package called Editor JS. I've already covered a complete article on getting started with Editor JS. So if you want to read it, link is in the description. Coming back to the story, let's try this Editor JS now. So our first job is to install it in our application. I will be using Next.js and React, but it's your choice to work with any of the framework. Editor.js is compatible with other framework and languages, so choose whichever you want. First, let me give you an overview about Editor.js. Editor.js is a block type text editor, meaning every content you write is treated as a block. Each block have its own type and the content and the data, and that can be as of any type such as text, heading, image, or the links, and so on. That's all about an overview of Editor.js. Once the package is installed, the next step is to install the plugins provided by Editor.js, such as Paragraph, Link, Images, and so on. By the virtue of the name, these plugins are the type of content or the block you are creating on Editor or you want to create. All the list of these plugins can be seen on their website itself, so you don't need to worry about it. The next part is to create the Editor.js component by passing the ID and creating the configuration tools. It's actually an easy task. You, you first define the configuration for Editor.js using plugins and ID. And for beginners, you can simply copy paste those basic configurations from their Editor.js websites. And the next part is to pass these configuration as the props to the development where you want to render the Editor.js component. Make sure you provide the same ID as the props to the development that you have added in the Editor.js configuration. Otherwise, it will throw an error. After completing these steps, we are ready with the basic Editor.js setup. Or let's say Editor.js editor, editor or Editor.js editor component is ready. The last part is to save the data. Since Editor.js is a block scope text editor, it returns the entire data as an array of objects containing the blocks. Each object of an array can be called or is called as a block. You can directly store the data object returned by Editor.js in the database and render them by simply passing the data object to the configuration in the, of the Editor.js. That's how we can develop our own custom text editors. I've added the code repository in the description. That's it for today people. Until next time, have a good day.